Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I want to show you a short video and a promotion video that I want to also do for my own channel uh, to on the website for uh, repairs on Mini Cooper DME from 2008, even 2007 to 2013. A lot of those uh, modules are being bricked because of um, coil, ground, or uh, voltage spikes charging you know when you got a dead battery you try to connect the battery sometimes you connect the cables wrong and then now you have no communication uh, no star no crank and uh, most of those computers are being called as dead and bricked i have found through uh, a very extensive uh, work uh, a repair for it so i want to share that i have right now here one of those uh, dme from mini cooper uh, this is very common on the turbo ones 2010 2009 you'll see the difference on them uh, they all have pretty much these two big capacitors this is for the gdi system the newer ones that got this coil here uh, transformer and the old ones have like this type of uh, a round coil uh, with a ferret material in it and that's all part of the gdi system i take my time to decode and map pretty much every single um, position of connectors with like pins numbers i go over let me zoom into this one just give me one second so i go over uh, pretty much the board and put the pin numbers and the most important pins for me as you can see i have right here the five volt reference these are signals that i am following all the way up to the microprocessor as you see right here uh, i do the same thing on both sides of the board i go and i'm going to show you just in a second how i do some of the tests and this computer is ready to go i will remove the old bed component as you see right here and i got order new ones i'm doing the same thing with these other computers that's what i have the order i have right now two microscopes and two computers running at the same time i have in this one i'm starting to map or not a start i'm, I'm probably like 70 percent through i take my time to go pin by pin on the important ones right so i know which uh activations the computer needs powers and grounds and where is the can transceiver if it's a can uh, transceiver computer where is the uh, voltage regulator how the polarized systems which is you know powers and grounds for the computer to work is and then i also check the voltage rails that goes through all the um lines or the microprocessor or ic's that are like when you know like in the dmes uh, on uh, mini cooper we got power ic's that are now dm uh, bmw is uh, replacing the old style like uh, mosfets outside this ic that we have right here it has actually four uh, mosfets built in this is called quad ic it's a smart ic so it reads it receives signals from the microprocessor and sends signals back to the microprocessors are the injectors and some other things fuel pumps and, and and throttle valves and stuff like that it works and that's what i do i take my time to map all those get a hundred percent when it's possible all the uh, lines like that when a customer send me a computer i have everything to go by uh, let's say you know <clears throat> i'm going to show you just a short uh, test uh, on this one let me close this other one again i'm sorry i, I just don't want to give 100 percent of what i do because this is i repair but uh as you can see i have also part numbers while they work uh, where the injectors are coming from which uh, sorry from which connector and this is the ic and controls of the injectors and then i map it down in there all the way up to the uh, microprocessor but like i said this has um actually one two three four five so let me one two three four five six seven yeah like eight mosfets built in so what i usually do I'm going to just show you like a uh, test that I do when a, a computer comes, let's say injectors not working. Um, you can just do that in a, a diode test. I'm going to reverse my lead because I got the ground on the ground. But so you see, I have right now reverse the, the lines because I'm going to do a diode test. 
So uh, now that I have the values recorded for my own purposes, and I know that these are, um, you know, this is the part where I see the controls and injectors. If I go here, uh, let me just go, I'm gonna check this one with a, uh, kind of like a thunder or lightning strike, and then we got the esks. Uh, we have to compare, right? So we go over this side, and we got four and 96. That's a diode, right? So that is uh, what a MOSFET will give us. And then if I go over the other side to the same thing, we're looking for the same values, right? And if I go over to these upper ones uh, right here, right? So the internal ones, because the other ones are for a different phase. But if I go up to here, and let me make sure I'm in the third four. Yeah, trying to just make sure. Yes, right there. So 496. So that is a, a good one. And we have to do the same in here. And this might be a bit, a bit driver just to make sure. Uh, I'm going to use the microscope, so just to make sure that I'm in the right pin, so yeah, it should be this first three. And we got an open one. So yeah, so as you can see, we have uh, a diamond, a square, let's say an X, and a lightning. They're all coming from the same value, so if I go right here, um, let me go over to, going to leave this ground here. It's going to be a little hard to do with just one hand, um, but yeah, we can have one of those drivers, uh, and that's it. I mean, you have one driver that it doesn't uh, give the same as the other one. It's a bad driver, right? So we're going to go over to this first uh, connection right here. I'm going to try to put that here. Give, give me one second. All right, Enrique, third hand in there. So I'm just going to go into diode mode, which is also going to shock me continuity. And as you can see in here, we got continuity. And it's the same thing in the other three. So if I go over to the square one right here, uh, yep, the square one, which is the, the second one in here, and I put that right here. All right, give me one second. All right, so I put him now on the second one, as you can see right here. And if I go over to this side, it shows continuity. So if I go back to the other test that I was doing, so again, if we go back to the other test that I was doing, just to make sure that we are indeed connected to the ground, uh, this one, oh, it was probably just a bit ground. Now the driver is good, 490, 495. So I was just probably not doing contact on the ground, but that's how you test. I mean, you're checking in here, so that's how I test. And how I know that, believe me, a lot of hours of learning, taking classes, doing mapping in computers like this. It's not simple, it's a lot of work. And that's why, yes, I do like to share a lot of information and I like to teach. And I'm thinking about, you know, maybe uh, further in time, let's say, you know, maybe two, three years, four years or so, then when I don't want to work that hard on repairing computers, I'm going to start moving into teaching. And then I create a class that I can go across and, uh, you know, teach the next generation to do what I've been doing for years. But yeah, so I got everything to repair uh, Mini Cooper DMEs. This was a completely dead brick computer that uh, mechanic call, and it was actually the right call. The computer was this brick. Uh, other repair facilities tell them that it was not repairable. It was a completely dead computer, and that is not the case. Again, Mike Salazar Diagnostics, we can repair pretty much 100% any DME on Mini Coopers and pretty much BMW. So if you have any problems like that, I will be able to uh, help you with. Okay. Um, just reach me out on my website, www, uh, Mike, which spells M-A-I-Z, salazardiagnostics.com. Uh, just set an appointment in there or shoot me an email at the same. I will be Mike, as again, M-A-I-C, at mysalazardiagnostics.com. That will be the email if you want to reach out. And then uh, set up, uh, uh, send me your module for repair or so on. And I'm going to keep going with this one. This is from a Jeep. I'm doing the same thing. This is also a very common computer that has 
um, being out for a long time and it gives a lot of problems with lots of communication um, problems with the temperatures on the transmission and so on and I definitely I'm 75 80 percent done and I'm already ordering in all parts it takes a lot of time now to get parts uh, there is uh, some you can get here in the United States which are easy but the ones you got to get across the sea they're taking even longer especially with the stuff that is going on in and uh, with Russia and China but yeah it's the only thing we can do right again um, thank you so much for visiting the channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share my um, my website and my channel uh, that helps me grow and makes me uh, try to put more content for all of you again see you later bye bye thank you so much